Good morning and welcome to Christ Church Cathedral where this service of morning prayer for Monday morning is being recorded. My name is Catherine Boyer and I'm the Dean of Newcastle and I acknowledge that this cathedral church stands on a Wabigal land, always was and always will be. I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and pray that I with the cathedral community may join with them in a spirit of reconciliation and caring for all that God has entrusted to us in the good gifts of creation. The service for morning prayer for Monday morning can be found in the prayer book on page 390. Our reading this morning is from John's Gospel, chapter 9, and our psalms are Psalms 110 and 111. Christ is risen, alleluia. Christ is risen indeed, alleluia. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to thee. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 110 is found on page 342 of the prayer book. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord commits to you the scepter of your power Reign from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you from the day of your birth upon the holy hill. Radiant are you even from the womb in the morning dew of your youth. The Lord has sworn and will not turn back. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The king shall stand at your right hand, O Lord, and shatter kings in the day of his wrath. Glorious in majesty, he shall judge among the nations and shatter heads over a wide land. He shall slake his thirst from the brook beside the way, therefore shall he lift up his head. Psalm 111. O praise the Lord, I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright and among the congregation. The works of the Lord are great and studied by all who take delight in them. His deeds are majestic and glorious and his righteousness stands forever. His marvellous acts have won him a name to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He gives food to those that fear him he remembers his covenant forever. He showed his people the power of his acts in giving them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are faithful and just and all his commandments are sure. They stand firm forever and ever. They are done in faithfulness and in truth. He sent redemption to his people. He ordained his covenant forever. Holy is his name and worthy to be feared. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and of good understanding are those that keep his commandments. His praise shall endure forever. Almighty God, you have conquered death through your dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ, and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant us by your grace to set our mind on things above, so that by your continual help our whole life may be transformed. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in everlasting glory. Amen. John chapter 9, verses 1 to 12. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's works might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. Then he went and washed and came back able to see. The neighbours and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, It is he. Others were saying, No, but it is someone like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, Then how were your eyes opened? He answered, The man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes and said to me, Go to Siloam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, A Song of Isaiah Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Gracious Father, who in your great mercy made glad the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such awareness of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayers this morning are taken from the prayer book on page 186. As we pray, we pray for communities continuing to recover from cyclone, fire, flood and drought. We pray for our Prime Minister Scott Morrison, Gladys Berejiklian, and our Premier, New Atali Nelms, the Lord Mayor of this city, and Tim Crackenthorpe and Sharon Claydon, who represent this community of Newcastle at state and federal level. We pray for Peter, our Bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, Assistant Bishops, for Arthur and Rod, our Archdeacons, and for Coralie, our Diocesan Chief Executive Officer. We pray for the ministries we share. We pray for those who are coming for baptism at this time. We pray for the work of the Samaritans Foundation. We pray for all who find themselves seeking God and reaching for God. We pray for those who are ill at this time, 
especially those with COVID-19. We pray with the, for those who continue to research for cures and treatments and vaccine, for those who are charged with the rollout of the vaccine, for our healthcare and frontline workers. We give thanks for those whose witness has nurtured us in the faith and we commend them to God's love and mercy and care. At section three on page 186. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church that we all may be one in Christ. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by everyone. We pray for all bishops priests and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and exercise authority in the nations of the world, that there may be peace and justice among all. Have compassion on those who suffer or are in grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. We praise you for all your saints who have entered into joy. May we also share in your heavenly kingdom. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. <laughs>